What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we are putting some new parts on the FJ Cruiser. Uh, as you can see the front end is pretty much stuck other than the bumper wings have been removed. Uh, but we've got the stock headlights and the stock turn signals which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, not to mention those lights are very dim and yellow and very hazy so i'm not switching to leds yet i'm just going to try first i'm going to put some new headlight housings in there some new turn signals in there and i'm just going to use a wider lens or a wider bulb a uh, wider halogen bulb see how that looks and see if we need to switch to an LED from there or not. But the turn signals will be LED. The main headlights will be reflectors, but we'll also have some daylight time running lights around there. So it should change the appearance a bit, should brighten things up. And if the white bulb is white enough, we could stay with that. We don't have to switch over to LEDs or maybe we'll have to. But I mean, here, it's not extremely dark in, in here, but you can see where the light's shining. Just want to do that so I have a reference of where the light actually shines. And it's low beams. Let's switch over to our high beams. Right now, I'm just going to take this front grill off, which is one, two, three, four of these 10 millimeter bolts, then a couple of clips right here, and then we should be able to pull this off. Well, that went down there, we'll fish that out. Now we gotta pull these clips up. Let's grab a small flathead just to get into those cracks right there to be able to pop that up. And then it'll pull out. One over here. And now let me get a another screwdriver here. Or actually I'll get a longer pry tool. Uh, like this one. And those got to pick up over the little tabs a bit. And they'll be ready to pull off. Then you'll have these clips. You just kind of squeeze on both sides and it'll pull back. Now they're on this side. You see right down there, it's just like regular plastic panel clips. Pull that out. One over here. And then another one right here. And like that, the grill comes off. All right, the screw that we... So now take this off. We have the one screw that we already took off of there. We have another one right down here. And I think we have to remove this and then there's some, another one back there. Use our panel removal tool here. Pry that piece out. So there's a plug here and then a little piece here. So you have to pull from this side to get this side out. And those two pieces will go right there into the fender. Now we have one more 10 millimeter right there. All right, so there is a little clip down here at the bottom. It's 
keeping that in. Let's pry that up. Now we can disconnect these lights. Or that's for ease of use right now. Well, it's a twist and pull it out. But there you should be able to squeeze it and pull that light out. And then on the back of the headlight, should be able to squeeze and pull that off. Which that came off way too easy. It seemed like it wasn't even clipped in there or anything. But it was working, so we'll go with it. And there. Now you see how hazy and just beat up that old light is there. We're changing from that to that. I think this looks much, much better. So uh, these actually are two separate pieces. You see there's three nuts here. Which will fit into here, which the stock has the same thing. You can see it's got three bolts on the inside. Now, the stock headlights actually had some pins in there, little plastic nubs in there for lining that up. This headlight does not have that. So, I guess it would. And depending on how much and there's a little bit of play there but not a whole lot but I'm just going to try to get it centered as best as I can and hope that's lined up um, be nice if it had the the alignment nubs in there already but got everything tightened down Let me go ahead and put the light bulb in and it just kind of got a metal clip there that squeezes in I said these are the Light bulbs I'm putting in, these Lumen H4s, they're supposed to be white. So we'll see how well these work. And if they don't work so good, we will uh, switch out to some LEDs here in the future. There's three little prongs where those sit in. Just push that in and then squeeze that. And should it's got to go in a little further on this side. There we go. So that's in. We go ahead and put our grommet from the other side over here. Like I said, this just goes into the light bulb, so where we screwed this out. So here, you just twist the bulb and it pops out. And put this new one in. Same, just goes in. Right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and plug the headlight bulb in. Just set this in place. There you go. Just setting that in place for right now just to check out how it works there's one uh, snap on the back that I'm going to need to transfer over this here I didn't transfer that over but that will be right there which will Plug that in, keep that tight right there, and then once you tighten everything else up, it should work. But I just want to, before I do anything, before I wire up the uh, daytime running lights or anything, I just want to turn this on and see how it looks, 
how it compares to the other side. Well, I could definitely see this left-hand side over here is much brighter than over there. So that bulb did help. Definitely much wider. It's a bit more focused. So the turn signal is working now. All right, so we got both the headlights in. I uh, did take the bumper off and started putting a new bumper on while I had the grill and the headlights out. Um, so I'll be uploading a video shortly about putting the winch and the winch bumper and everything on. But we got the headlights on. The only thing left is to snap the grill back into place. Make sure everything lines up. So this should... So this should just line back up into place. So snapped over, down underneath. We got those bottom white clips to snap in. And we should have the two bolts there and then the two pins. Easy peasy, same over this side. A little bit of a, well, I guess it's even all the way around. Yep. Little gap there, but hey, it's, it's even all the way around, so we'll call that good. All right, so we got that all put back together, except the daytime running lights. I do not have those hooked up right now. Um, I'm going to put, apparently it's not a super simple thing to just tap into a wire that's on the headlights to get those working. There's absolutely no instructions whatsoever for how to do that from the company itself that sells these headlights. They said they don't provide instructions, should be professional install, blah, blah, blah. But um, did find on a FJ Cruisers forum, I don't know if that's the actual name, something, FJ Cruiser forums or something like that. I'll put a link down to a couple of write-ups that talk about how to get these working with the uh, as daytime running lights. Since I'm gonna be running wires and a switch for the pod lights on the bumper, I'm gonna go ahead and also run a switch for these. Uh, I got plenty of space for different switches in there. So I'm gonna do a switch for these that should hopefully be switched you know, I could turn them on or turn them off from in there and it should be a wired switch or um, switched on by ignition. So I should be able to just leave that switch on and then run it like that. And then if I ever need to turn them off, I'll have that ability to go ahead and turn them off. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, go ahead and turn them on. See, we are actually much brighter than we were. Still not super white. Definitely more white than they were. Overall appearance looks a lot better. There we go with them on. Looks like the right one might be a little bit lower. So I might need to, yeah. Need to raise the right one just a bit or lower the left one, but the left one's actually lining up perfectly where the old ones were. So I need to raise the right one up just a, just a bit, get everything completely lined up. So, what do you guys think? Do you like the new headlights? Do you like the old ones better? I love the look of the new ones, they're so much cleaner. I, 
especially like the turn signals much much better than those old orange ones let me know it down in the comments below what you think which ones you prefer um, like I said in the description I will put some links to some good write-ups for how to hook up these daytime running lights if you're interested I'm not going to go through that I'm not going to do it I'm like I said I'm running wires for switches anyway so I'm just going to run them to a switch and uh, call it good from there so um and if you need some details on how I'm running it with the switch, I'll update that in the next video where I'll finish doing this winch and bumper install. So be sure to tune in for that if you want to see how I get that all wired up. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and let me know. If you didn't, thumbs down works just as well. Uh, and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.